Hi everyone, how are you going? Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. Hope you're having a fantastic day. It's 29th of November, 21. I've got 100 Bible verses about being offended. Ecclesiastes 6, 7, 22. Do not take to heart all the things that people say, lest your heart, your servant, cursing you. Your heart knows that many times you yourself have cursed others. Proverbs 9.11 Good sense makes one slow to anger, and it's his glory to overlook an offence. James 1.19 Know this, my beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. Luke 7.23 And blessed is the one who is not offended by me. Matthew 18.15.17 If your brother sins against you, go and tell him it's his fault between you and him alone if he listens to you you have gained your brother but if he does not listen take one or two others along with you that chain at every change charge may be established by the evidence of two or three witnesses if he refuses to listen to them tell it to the church and if he refuses to listen even to the church let him be to you as gentile and a tax collector james 1 to 12 Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial. For what he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life which God promised to those who love him. 2 Timothy 2.24 And the Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome, but kind to everyone, able to teach, patiently enduring evil. Luke 6.22-23 Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude you and revive you, and spurt your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in the day, and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven, for so their fathers did to their prof to the prophets. Exodus fourteen fourteen The Lord will fight for you and own and you have only to be silent. Proverbs eighteen nineteen A brother offended is more unyielding than a strong city, and quarrelling is like the bars of a castle. Proverbs nine seven to nine Whoever corrects a scoffer gets himself abuse, and he who provokes a wicked man inquires incurs injury. Do not reprove a scoffer, or he will hate you. Reprove a wise man, and he will love you. Give instruction to a wise man, and he will still be wiser. Teach a righteous man, and he will increase in learning. John fifteen eighteen. If the world hates you, you know it is. it has hated me before it hated you. Psalms 119, 165. Great peace have those who love you. Love your law. Nothing can make them stumble. Proverbs 12, 16. The vexation of a fool is known at once, but the prudent ignores an insult. It's a good one. Ephesians 4, 18. They are drunken in their understanding, alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them due to their hardness of their heart. And you shouldn't trust your heart. 1 Peter 4.14 If you are insulted for the name of Christ, you are blessed because the spirit of glory and God rests upon you. 2 Corinthians 12.10 For the sake of Christ, then, I am content with weakness, insults, hardships, persecutions and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. 1 Peter 5.8 Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls along like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Ephesians 6.33 I have said these things to you, that in me you have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Isaiah 32.17 and the effect of righteousness will be peace, and the result of righteousness, quietness and trust forever. Proverbs 23, 9. Do not speak in the hearing of a fool, for he will despise the good sense of your words. Matthew eleven sixteen, And blessed is the one who is not offended by me. Jeremiah 17, 9. A heart is the deceitful above all things, and desperately sick. Who can understand it? 2 Peter 3, 9. The Lord is not slow to fulfill his promises, some count slowness, but is patient towards you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should reach repentance. Proverbs 
A fool gives vent to his spirit, but a wise man quickly holds it back. Psalms 112, 6-7, for the righteous will never be moved, he will remember forever. He is not afraid of bad news, his heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. Luke nineteen thirty eight forty, saying, Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord, peace in heaven and glory in the highest. And some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to him, Teacher, rebuke your disciples, he answered. I tell you, if these were silent, the very stones would cry out. Romans 1, 14.21 It is good not to eat meat or drink wine or do anything else that causes your brother to stumble. Romans 1.18 For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against un all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men, who by their unrighteousness presses the truth. 1 John 5.4 For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Romans 8, 5, for those who live accordingly to the flesh set their minds on things of the flesh, but those who live accordingly to the Spirit set their minds on things of the Spirit. Acts 19, 34, but when they recognized that he was a Jew, for about two hours they all cried out with one voice, Great is Artemis of the Ephesians. Matthew twenty four ten, and then many will fall away and betray one another and hate one another. 2 Timothy 4.3 For the time is coming when people will not endure sound teaching but have itchy ears. They will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own passions. Revelations 2.10 Do not fear what you are about to suffer. Behold, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison, that you may be tested, and for ten days you will have tribulation. Be faithful unto death, and I will give you the crown of life. 2 Thessalonians 2.2 not to be quickly shaken in the mind or alarmed either by spirit or spoken word or letting someone seeming to be from us to the effect that that day the Lord has come. Matthew 26:31. Jesus said to him, You will all fall away because of me this night, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd, the sheep will flock and will be scattered. Psalms 55:12. For it is not the enemy who taunts me, then I could bear it. It is not the adversary who deals innocent in silently with me that I could hide from him. 1 Timothy 4 1. Now the Spirit expressively says that in the later times some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to deceitful spirits and teachings of the demons. 2 Peter 3 16. As he does in all these letters when he speaks in them of these matters, there are some things in them and they are hard to understand, which the ignorant and unstable twist to their own destruction as they do through the other scriptures. Romans 5.1 Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace by God through Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ. Matthew 13.21 Yet he has not no root in himself, but he endures for a while, and when the tribulation or persecution arises on account of the world, immediately he falls away. Daniel 1.17 as for these four youths, God gave them learning and skill and literature and wisdom, and Daniel had an understanding in all visions and dreams. 1 John 4, 7 Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God, and whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Matthew thirteen fifty seven, And they took offense at him, but Jesus said to him, A prophet is not without honor except in his hometown and in, in his own household. 2 Kings 18, 17, 36 And the king of Assyria sent the Tartan, the rabbi Saz, and the Rabbishan, with a great army from Lach, Lach, can't say that, sorry, to King Helisola, to Jerusalem. And they went up and they came to Jerusalem. When they arrived, they came and they stood by a conduit of the upper pool, which is on the highway to the washer's field. And when they called for the king, there come out to their Erkurum, the son of Hilkra, who was over the household, and Shem, the secretary, and Jonah, the son of Aspar, the recorder, and the said to them, Say, Hesketh, thus says the great king, the king of Assyria, on what do you rest this trust of yours? Do you think that mere words of strategy and power for war? In whom do you now trust? 
that you have rebelled against me. Behold, you are now trusting in Egypt, that broken reed of a staff, which will pierce the hand of any man who leans on it, such as the Pharaoh king of Egypt, to all who trusted in him. Deuteronomy 1, 6-17 And I charged charged your judges at the time hear the cases between your brothers and judge righteously between a man and his brother for the alien who is with him you shall not be partial in judgment you shall hear the small and the great alike you shall not be in intimidated by anyone for the judgment is god's and the case that is too hard for you you shall bring it to me and i will hear it romans 14:1. As for the one who is weak in faith, welcome him, but not quarrel over opinions. Hebrews 11.16 And without faith it is impossible to please him, for whoever would draw near God must believe that he does exist and that he rewards those who seek him. Acts 5.33 When they heard this, they were enraged and wanted to kill him. Matthew 26.33 Peter answered then, Though they all fall away because of you, I will never fall away. Genesis 41 Sometime after this, the cupbearer of the king of Egypt and his baker, baker committed an offence against the Lord, the king of Egypt. Hebrews 12.11 For the moment, all disciples, discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. 1 Corinthians 10.32 Give no offence to Jews or to the Greeks or to the Church of God. Acts 7, 10, 7, 1, 60. And the high priest said, Are those things so? And Stephen said, Brothers and fathers, hear me. The God of glory appeared to our father Abraham when he was in our Mesopotamia, before he lived in Haram, and he said to him, Go out from your land and from your kindred and go into the land that I will show you. And then he went out from the land of the Shladians and lived in Hanan. And after his father died, God removed him from there into the land in which you are now living. Yet he gave him no inheritance in it, not even a foot length, but promised to give him, give it to him as permit, for possession and to his offspring after him, though he had no child. Matthew 19.11 But he said to them, Not everyone can receive the saying, but only those to whom it is given. Hebrews 12.1 Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely. Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Acts 13.48 and when the Gentiles heard this, they began rejoicing and glorifying the word of the Lord, and as many were appointed to the eternal life believed. John 8:47. Whoever is of God hears the word of God. The reason why you do not hear them is that you are not of God. 2 Chronicles 18:134. Now Jehoshaphat had great riches and honors, and he had marriage alliance with Ab. After some years he went down to Ab in Samaria, and Ab killed an abundance of sheep and oxen for him, and for the people who were with him, and induced him to go up against Ramath Gilead. Arab king of Israel said to Jezebeth, king of Judah, Will you go with me to Ramoth Gilead? And he will answered him, I am as you are, my people are as your people, we will be with you in war. And as Jezebeth said to the king of Israel, Inquire first for the word of the Lord. And then the king of Israel gathered the prophets together, four hundred men, and said to them, Shall we go to battle against Ramoth Gilead, or shall I refrain? And they said, Go up, for God will give it to the hand of the king. 2 Peter 1.10 Knowing this, first of all, that no prophecy of scripture comes from someone's own interpretation. Ezekiel 25.12 Thus says the Lord God, because Edom acted revengefully against the house of Judah and has grievously offended in taking vengeance on him. Psalms 109:28. Let them curse, but you will bless. They arise and are put to shame, but your servant will be glad. 1 John 2:16. For all that is in the world and the desires of the flesh and the desires of the eye and the pride in the possessings is not from, from the Father, but is of the world, from the world. Matthew 15:12. Then the disciples came in and said to him, 
Do you know that the Pharisees were offended when they heard the saying? Hosea 13.1 When Ephraim spoke, there was trembling. He was exalted in Israel, but he incurred guilt through Baal and died. 2 Corinthians 10.9 I do not want to appear to be fighting with you, fighting you with my letters. 1 Corinthians 8.9 But take care that this is right of yours does not somehow become a stumbling block to the weak. Acts 25.8 Paul argued in his defence, neither against the law of the Jews, nor against the temple, nor against Caesar, have I committed an offence. Jeremiah 37.18 Jeremiah also said to King Zedekiah, What wrong have I done to you, or your servants, or the people, that you have put me in prison? Proverbs 23.29-35 Who has woe? Who has sorrow? Who has strife? Who has complaining? Who has wounds without cause? Who has redness in the eyes? Who has tarried long over wine? Those who go to try to mix wine, do not look at wine when it's red, when it sparkles in the cup and goes down smoothly. In the end it bites like a serpent and stings like an adder. Your eyes will see strange things and your heart utter perverse things. Psalms 103, 122. O David, bless O Lord, my soul, and all that is within me. Blessed is his holy name. Blessed the Lord on my soul. And forget not all of his benefits, who forgives all of your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good, so that you, your youth is renewed like the eagles. Job 5:21. You shall be hidden from the lash of the tongue, and shall not fear destruction when it comes. Romans 1, 1 Paul, a servant of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle, set apart from the gospel of God, which he promised beforehand through his prophets in the holy scriptures, concerning his son, who was descended from David according to the flesh, and was declared to be the son of God in power according to the scriptures. Spirit of the holiness by his name, resurrected from the dead, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him we have received grace and apostleship to bring about the obedience of our faith for the sake of his name among all nations. Proverbs 27.3.6 A stone is heavy and the sand is weighty, but a fool's provocation is heavier than both. Wrath is cruel, anger is overwhelming, but who can stand before jealousy? Better is open rebuke than hidden love. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, profuse are the kisses of an enemy. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy, to go to the church of the Thessalonians, in God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We ought to always give thanks to God for you, brothers, as our right, because your faith is growing abundantly, and the love of every one of you for one another is increasing. Therefore we ourselves boast about you in the churches of God for your steadfastness and faith in all your persecutions and afflictions that you are enjoying. This is evidence of the righteous judgment of God, that you may be considered worthy in the kingdom of God for which you are also suffering. 2 Corinthians 12.7 So keep me from becoming conceited because of the surprising greatness, surpassing greatness of the revelations. A thorn was given me in the flesh. A messenger of Satan to harass me, to keep me from being conceited. 2 Corinthians 4, 8, 11 We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. Excuse me. Always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our bodies. For we who live are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our mortal flesh. 1 Corinthians 1, 23 But we preach Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews, folly to Gentiles. Proverbs 21 Wine is mocker, strong drink is a brawler, and whoever is led astray by it is not wise. Galatians 2, 20 I have been crucified with Christ, it is no longer who I who live but Christ who lives in me and the life I now live in the flesh I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave me himself for me Luke 17 
1, 2. And he said to his disciples, Temptations to sin are sure to come, but woe to the one whom they come. It would be better for him if a millstone were hung around his neck and were cast into the sea than he should cause one of his little ones to sin. Galatians 4, 16, 6, 4. Have I then become your enemy by telling you the truth? They make much of you, but for no good purpose. They want to shut you out, that you may make much of them. It is always good to be made much for good purpose. And not only when I am present with you, my little children, for whom I am again in the anguish of childbirth until Christ is formed in you. I wish I could be present with you now and change my tone, for I am perplexed about you. 2 Corinthians 6, three. We put no obstacle in anyone's way, so that no fault may be found in with our ministry. Romans 9.33.10.19 As it is written, Behold, I am lay, laying in Zion a stone for stumbling and a rock of offence, and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. Brothers, my heart's desire and prayers to God for them, that they may be saved. For I bear them witness that they have zeal for God, but are not according to knowledge. For it is being ignorant of the righteous of God, and seeking to establish their own. They did not submit to God's righteousness. For Christ is in the end of the law of righteousness to everyone who believes. Ecclesiastes 7, 8, 26 Better is the end of then saying it is the beginning, and be patient in spirit is better than be proud in spirit. Be not quick in your spirit to become angry, for anger lodges in the bosom of fools. Say not, why were the former days better than these? For it is not from wisdom that you ask this. Wisdom is good with inheritance and advantage to those who see the sun. For the provocation, for the protection of wisdom is like the protection of money. And advantage of knowledge is that of wisdom preserves the life of him who has it. 1 John 3 13 to 4 6 do not be surprised brothers that the world hates you we know that we have passed out of death into life because we love our brothers whoever does not love abides in death and everyone who hates his brother is a murderer and you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him by this we know love that he laid his life down his life for us and we also lay down our lives for the brothers but if anyone has the world's goods and sees his brother in need, and yet closes his heart against him, how does God, God's love abide in him? Hebrews 12, 2.14 Since therefore the children share in the flesh and the blood, he himself likewise partook of the same things, that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is, the devil. 2 Timothy 4.10 For the demons in love with this present world, has deserted me and gone to Thelicionia. Crescent has gone to Galatia and Titus to Dalmatia. Sorry for saying that wrong. 1 Corinthians 14, 1, 40. Pursue love and earnestly desire the spiritual gifts, especially that you may have prophecy. For one who speaks in a tongue speaks not to men but to God, for no one understands them, but he utters mysteries in the spirit. On the other hand, the one who prophesies speaks speaks to the people for their upbuilding and encouragement and consol consolidation. The one who speaks in tongue builds up himself, but the one who prophesies builds up the church. Now, I want you all to speak in tongues, but even more to prophesy. The one who prophesies is greater than the one who speaks in tongues, unless someone interprets so that the church may be built up. John 16, 1, 2 I have said all these things to you to keep you from falling away they will put you out of the synagogues indeed the hour is coming when whoever kills you will think he is offering service to god and they will do these things because they have not known the father nor me but i have said these things to you that when the hour comes you may remember what i told them to you what remember that i told them to you I did not say these things to you from the beginning because I was with you, but now I am going to him who sent me, and none of you asked me, where are you going? John 1, 5-23 The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John, who came as a witness, to bear witness about the light, that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came bear witness about the light. 
true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. Luke 11, 42, 52. But woe to you, Pharisees, for you, the time it meant to rue every herb, neglect justice and love God. Those you ought to have done without neglecting the others. Woe to you, Pharisees, for you love the best seed in the synagogues and teaching in the marketplace. Woe to you, for you are like unmarked graves, and people walk over them without knowing. One of the lawyers answered him, Teacher, in saying these things you insult us also. And he said, Woe to you, lawyers also, for you load people with burdens hard to bear, and you yourselves do not touch the burdens with one of your fingers. Isaiah 8 28, 9, 20. The teaching and the testimony, if they will not speak according to his words, it is because they have not no dawn. They will pass through the land, greatly distressed and hungry. And when they are hungry, they will be enraged and will speak contemptuously against their king and their god and turn their faces upward. And they will look to the earth, but behold, distress and darkness, the gloom of anguish, and they will be a thirst thrust into thick darkness. But there will be no gloom for her who was in anguish in the former time he brought into contempt the land of Zebulun and into the land of Naphtali. But in the later time he was made glorious by the way of the sea, the land beyond Jordan, Galilee of the nations. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in the land of deep darkness, on them a light has shined. Proverbs fourteen seventeen to 29 A man of quick temper acts foolishly, and a man of evil devises, devises his hatred. The simple inherit folly, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge. The evil bow down before the good, the wicked are at the gates of the righteous. The poor is disliked even by his neighbour, but the rich has many friends. Whoever despises his neighbour is a sinner, but blessed is he who is generous to the poor. Job 3.18 There are prisoners at ease together. They hear not the voice of the taskmaster. 1 John 1.19 If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, to cleanse us from our unrighteousness. John 14.6 Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Matthew 5.7.12 Blessed are the merciful, for they should receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sakes, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you, and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Genesis 20.19 Then Elbermet called Abraham and said to him, what have you done to us, and how I have I sinned against you, that you have brought on me and my kingdom a great sin? You have done to me the things that ought not to be done. Thank you, everyone, if you're still with me. Much love. Raise your vibrations. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you want. I would really appreciate that YouTube's messing around with my subscribers. Can you check to see if you're still subscribed? Because I've been unsubscribed to Shucks and a few other people as well. So, yeah, wherever you are in the world, raise your vibrations. Much love. Thanks for watching. Bye now.